Today, as we sing, we're going to focus on God's grace, beginning with, all hail the power of Jesus' name. In that second stanza, a couple times we will sing, hail him who saves you by his grace. That word hail means to salute or to acclaim. And that's what we want to do today is to salute and acclaim God for his saving grace in our lives. All hail the power of Jesus' name. of God's grace and His love that we can be called His children, that we can be born again. We're chosen as God's children, born again, what love and grace. And then our response then, the prayer at the end of this chorus is, Father, help me to walk worthy. Keep me walking worthy of that calling uh, to be one of God's children. All four stanzas chosen as His children. Yeah. 
paid it all, all to him I owe. stanza says for nothing good have I whereby thy grace to claim it is true it is good to be reminded that there is really nothing good in us uh, we have no reason uh, and no merit for God's grace because even our righteousness is as filthy rags the Bible tells us so let's be reminded of that as we sing this third stanza that God's grace is free to us not by anything good that we have done and there is nothing good in us but yet we can still claim God's grace that he wants to give to us freely. On that third stanza, for nothing good have I whereby thy grace to claim.
God's grace is sufficient for us in every need. His grace overflows and even far exceeds what we can think or imagine or even ask for. Only by His grace I found, I found grace to save my soul. At the cross, grace made me whole. God's grace is greater than our sin. Romans 5.20 says that where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. Grace greater than our sin.